what would encourage more people to vote? I think the things that would encourage more people to vote would be uh, to get to the bottom points of like, um, you know, our fuel prices, jobs, economy, um, you know, the current situation we're in as a province. I personally believe where I am in the oil and gas fields and stuff like that, I think uh, more focus needs to be done on that as a province, knowing that it is the backbone of our community and, you know, all the spinoffs that come from it. So Compulsory voting like they do in Australia, with a very minor fine if you don't vote. And I think I guess I would add to that is relevance of what politicians are talking about, and that has to be relevance to all generations. I think if there was more transparency and honesty what's going on in all, all parties, there's so much uh, dissent, even, even among parties themselves, I think people just don't really care anymore. First of all, I think a better leader. If we we need to, we need better leaders of all parties, uh, leaders that are strong and uh, sincere in what their what the plan is for the country. Uh, I think a lot of people feel alienated by the um, by the voting process, but also by democracy and by government, and they don't necessarily see the relevance of those issues to them. Um, so I think when people choose not to vote, it's not necessarily that they don't care. I think they need to be more properly engaged and they need to, um, I think that politicians and candidates need to do a better job relating themselves and the issues to a person's meaning, a person's day-to-day -day life. Um, why should I care about these issues and why should I go to the trouble of voting? Um, so I think that more engagement and meeting people where they're at would be really effective in getting more people out to vote. Teach them about it at school from the beginning, from since they're kids, probably, because now it's kind of hard if you don't know. And immigrants, it's important to include us also in, with the knowledge. Sometimes they feel that they're not being heard. Yes, we're voting, but nothing. we're not going to get anything out of it, right? Yeah, so that's... If they're being heard, uh, they need that... Uh, Assurance that people are listening, the leaders are listening to them and listening to what they want. Maybe having better candidates. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a good answer, but that's, I think that would encourage me to uh, vote federally, to know more about the candidates and have ones that are maybe different from the last, the last election. Um, make it more accessible, lengthen the hours, make it easier for people to engage, get engaged. Give, send out information, like always, the more you send out, the more engaged, hopefully, especially the younger people will get. I don't go out and vote because I have no idea who I'm voting for. Yeah, and what I'm voting for. Uh, I wouldn't want to encourage more people to vote. I would want to encourage people to become educated about the issues so that they have a drive and desire to vote. Oh, everybody should vote. I mean, voting is a right of citizenship, so people must vote, whether, however they vote. You got to you know, you got to exercise your uh, your power. Uh, I think accessibility. Honestly, having uh, having more polling stations would be great. Uh, I, th I think also like familiarity with candidates. That's a big thing. I know sometimes I go to stations and I'm not 100% sure who I'm voting for. I just know kind of the, the popular thing to do. Or um, so that's important to me to have have like a good sense of who I'm voting for. Um, also the values of the party a little bit more accessible as well. I think that's the main thing is just accessibility. That's a good question. I don't know how you can get everybody there. I really don't. But but I think as Canadians, we all need to have a bigger voice in what's happening because there's a lot of change right now and it's not all good change and it's not good for all Canadians. And it should be. We haven't been getting the explanation from our politicians, from our government. It's been a top-down approach and often we're left confused as to why things are happening confused and angry and then not wanting to engage and that needs to change. If you want good government you you have to get out and vote. If you don't get out and vote you have no right in, in complaining. This is what it all comes down to. Um, integrating the new generation also with the older generation and um, not just uh, provincially but uh, federally um, throughout this whole country. Any old government that has any say should have the people's vote. If the people aren't voting, the companies are voting, that means the people aren't getting what they want. I think it's important to vote because otherwise you, you don't have any say on anything. If you don't like the decision of, uh, of um, 
the, the prime minister, uh, and then you don't vote, then it doesn't count. And if you like what he does, you should, you know, vote as well. Generally speaking, uh, clarifying party policy, uh, giving the people a, an opportunity to, to uh, give them feedback, and uh, just transparency more than anything else, I would say. If they're not happy with the way things are going, this is their chance to make a change.